Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from Team Bus. In this video, I'm gonna go over what I would do for a company serving Albany, New York to rank better for the term private investigator. So I'm using Local Falcon. I ran about a 20 mile ro uh, radius report for this exact term. And my example here is Capital Investigations Group. 3% of the time they're in the top three, which means only 3% of the time in this 20 mile radius are they gonna be on page one of Google. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to go to view more businesses so you can find their listing for this non-brand term. What I always do to start is go to the competitor tab in Local Falcon. Let's look at Mission Possible Investigations, do a side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see here we have two five, so we have five star and five star, that's fine. However, on the left, we only have one review versus 42. Big gap right there. Second, categories, private investigator versus private investigator, that's fine. However, they have service establishment, you might wanna include that as well. And then real quick, you can see here that the map 3% of the time versus 97 if you round up 98% of the time. So I would kind of base my research off who is already winning in this category. Let's look at one more. Let's go to East Coast Investigations. Again, one review, there's 48, both five-star reviews. There's a, so there is a review gap, we can already see. Number two, categories, private investigator versus private investigator. That's fine, however, service establishment, again, we see that. Legal service, notary public, and process server. And when we look at the heat map, 3% to 95, round up 96. So real quick, before I go to the next part, I do this type of analysis for every local client that I have and also for every free local SEO audit. Because what I do is I look at the top, let's say two or three, and then I look at some listings that are maybe like position 10. And I want to get an idea of who is using what categories and where the gaps are. This is a big part of the local SEO strategy is looking at the gap, the gap analysis from um, categories and some other things that I'm going to get into. but categories is a big part reviews are a big part let's look at their uh google my business listing so from a brand search capital investigations group is going to pull up their uh, knowledge panel on the right hand side so let's look at the photos first and you can see here they only have one photo that was added one year ago so if i was them i would upload more photos of the team at the location or or at anything that they do like whether it's like a trade show you want to um, upload photos of the team it's a trust signal it's also going to be a ranking factor as well because it's like a freshness score if you can add uh, more photos number two it's good that you have your address over here that's great i'm going to get into that in actually a little bit when you get to their website but it's good you're displaying that phone number 518 that's great uh q and a's there are none over here so what i would do if i was the owner of this i would actually ask my own questions and then answer them um Nothing that's missing on this is that they don't have any updates or a product carousel. These are two ranking factors. So if you go to my business over here, TM Blast, now it's gonna look different because um, I'm signed in. But if you scroll down, you're gonna see a products carousel that I have. Product carousel is a way for me to display every service that I provide and it links out to the page. So say you're looking at my free local SEO audit, there's no cost to that. I give a brief description and then I say you can visit my site and it's not visiting the home page. It actually goes directly to that landing page on my website. Big ranking uh, factor right there. And then you can actually group the categories together as well to get like really more concise for the uh, for the ranking for Google. Um, I have an updated section here. So again, I would kind of um, think about this as well. I, so what I do is every, you know, once or twice a week, I'll do an update, whether it's like a case study or like a tip or anything else like that. It's a great way to uh, keep your freshness score and also keep uh, users engaged. And also um, even from, from like a call to action, you can have something like call now or, or anything else like that. So it's a great way to really utilize that space. Let's go back into their listing here. Um, one thing I also, when I looked at this was that they say things like capital district area of New York. Now I know what that means because I'm, I'm in upstate New York as well, but from a Google perspective, I would actually list off all the neighboring towns around Say things like um, Albany, Colony, Troy, Schenectady, Latham, Clifton Park. I will list them off. Don't just say Capital District. Get really specific because when I look at that map, um, it's not as competitive when you just have the word Capital District. Um, it's almost like Boston area too. When I lived out in Boston, if you say I live in the Boston area, that's so generic, so bland, and so difficult to even know what that means that you wanna say like really specifically what part of the Boston uh, uh, area that you're, uh, the greater Boston area that you're from. So same thing for Albany, get really specific what the capital district means and where do you serve. Um, all right, so that's their Google My Business. Now, Google My Business rankings, it's kind of separate from your website, but I think it all kind of goes together. 
So one thing I looked at was that they only have a services page here. And their service page, if you move my screen over, they say they do a couple things here, criminal defense, personal injury, DWI, and litigation support. That's fine, you can list it all, but you wanna link out to these, to the individual pages. So think of your website as a book. Every chapter or every service you provide is your chapter. So if I want only, if I'm only interested in personal injury, um, I need to know exactly what you offer with that, maybe like how many years of experience you have, uh, your success rate, maybe your price, uh, how long it takes, anything like that. You wanna have as much information on that page as possible. And then from an SEO perspective, you can then optimize it from like a title tag, a header, images, video, schema markup, if you wanna do that. There's a lot of things you can do to really rank for that. So for me, if I was working on this, that's actually one of the first things I would do is get these as individual pages. Next, from the website perspective, I would actually have in the footer, I would actually list off your address. So I'm really into NAP, name, address, phone number. That should be across every page, name of the business, address, phone number. What you can do is you can actually embed your Google My Business listing um, uh, map directly into your footer. So real quick, if you wanna see what that what that looks like, if you go to TM Blast, I'll show you. Let's just go to, now I'm already signed in, so it's gonna look again kind of different for you guys. Uh, let's go down to the bottom here. So what I do is I link out in the footer, uh, right over here, this map's gonna appear. I do that, it's my footer on every page. So basically what happens is that when Google is looking, and also Bing, when both search engines are looking at um, uh, local search results to kind of show, I have my map on every single page, my address, my phone number, my email address. Um, it's a great way to really kind of solidify if you are a local business. Um, one thing I always do as well is look at Bing. So you put in the brand name, Capital Investigations Group. Now they have this um, this Bing knowledge or Bing places for business that shows up, but I don't think that this is um, fully optimized because there isn't a whole lot of information. What I mean by that is that if you go into do that same search into Bing for TM Blast, you're gonna see that same Bing places for business map. However, I have an entire knowledge panel on the right-hand side, which is great. Uh, for again, entity building for both search engines. Um, I don't fully know if they have um, claimed they're being placed for business account, but that's another thing you can do. Because the description to be a little different between both search engines and um, you can actually get pretty specific on where you serve in Bing compared to, uh, to Google My Business. Now, uh, let's look at a couple more things here. So I'm looking at SEM Rush now, just a third-party data tool. I take this for what it for what it's worth. I don't know if this is exactly accurate, but it gives me an idea that they're getting about less than one visit per day, per month, um, to their website. And most of their traffic is coming from their branding, Capital Investigating, which doesn't surprise me because they don't have any pages broken out by service. So that's an opportunity as well. Break them out by service, targeted for, um, um, for lo location for Google My Business, everything like that. All right, last but not least, this is a tip. Uh, again, entity building for me is really critical. I do this for TM Blast and this is also for my clients. Um, I encourage everyone who is a local business to then put their website into Google, then do minus site and then your website again. Because what you're trying to see is from a Google perspective, what sites are talking about your business. So you can see here we have Kevin Connolly's posts on LinkedIn. We have Trial Academy, that's great. That's listed right there. Kevin Connolly posts again, Scam Advisor, Boston Capital Real Estate Partners, everything like that. Um, the reason why I bring this up is that if you go to, let's say you do my website, for example, let's do HBS, and then let's do Team Blast. So let's get rid of some of this. Teamblast.com, and let's do site, and then same thing again. What you wanna look at here is this. So you can see already that the results are different for my business versus theirs. Now it's a little, you know, it's not apples to apples, but the point though is that I have YouTube, I have um, some agency listings that I'm on. I, I've been uh, featured on podcasts, so um, boss, uh, Business Innovators Radio, um, I'm on, let's see what else, uh, Info Blast, whatever. Uh, the point though is that, I, actually I even shared something on Microsoft Bing's Twitter. Um, the point though, is that you want to build out your uh, entity list. So always take a look to see who's kind of talking about your business um, on the web, because from a local perspective, you want to be on relevant directories in the Albany area. So if you don't see that immediately for your business, consider um, going through 
this search command saying, okay, if, if Google can't see me on local directories, maybe I should go to albany.com and list my business. Um, so for example, if I did that right now, TM last, I'm gonna put this in quotes. And then let's see what comes up. TM blast. You can see here, yep, saratoga.com. I'm listed there. Up City, Saratoga Springs, Trust Index, everything like that. That's an example of my business now being featured uh, in Saratoga. That's where it is. If I was that local business as well, I'd really make sure I'm properly listed in and around Albany, New York. So that's pretty much it. That's the video. Um, again, when it comes to the term private investigator, they have a couple of things working for them. They have the category that lists it off. Um, however, though, I would really encourage um, them to go through and to expand it with like products, add more photos, get more reviews, respond to those reviews, do updates, talk about anything about private investigation, um, then have the individual services on their website, add the uh, Google My Business uh, map directly into their footer, have the address shown, uh, claim their Bing Places for Business account to really optimize that. Um, and then kind of look at for relevant third-party sites that they can get listed on in and around Albany that's around their category, around Private Investigator. It's a great way to kind of get that brand name closely associated with Albany, New York and kind of what they do. So that's the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. And as always, have a good rest of your day.